we usually have uh, entertainment news. Uh, today is a little bit different. Uh, we've got an interview, and uh, Matt Clues has got all the details about it. Yes, so anyone who watched Britain's Got Talent anyway, let alone Tuesday night, um, the winner of the Tuesday semi-final is currently on the line. Hello to magician Richard Jones. Hello, good morning. Hello, how are you? You right? Yes, very well. How are you? Good, yeah, we're not too bad in here. Um, congrats good for stuff. getting... For, uh, sorry, congrats for getting through to start off with. Thank you very much. Very kind. Um, what's it like knowing that you're in the final of the Britain's Got Talent? You know what? It, it came as a complete shock. Um, I was just happy to be there. Yeah, I mean, when I first went for the audition, I was just hoping I'd make it to the first round so I get to perform in front of, I think it was 2,000 people in the uh, in the theatre that I was in. But to now be performing live in front of the nation is quite something special. Yeah, so uh, yeah. yeah, I'm so thrilled with how far I've got so far. I'm really thrilled with all the uh, the votes that I've had from the public. Yeah, uh, it's, it's really overwhelming. Uh, uh, I'm still in shock, really. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be getting a lot more support as well. Um, so, what made you audition? To start off with, say that again. Sorry. What made you audition for originally? Uh, not what made me audition. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I actually auditioned last year, uh, yeah. just because I've always loved the show. So I auditioned last year, and I went through the producers' rounds, and they they liked it. I was really chuffed, and they gave me a uh, a date for the the first round, which is the first round you see on TV. Yeah. Um, so I got to that stage last year, but turned out the only date they could give me was the same day as the uh, passing out parade of the household cavalry. So yeah. I'd just finished all the training, and I really didn't want to miss this parade because I'd spent so much time, uh, yeah. spent six months working uh, early mornings to late nights, working with horses, and, and uh, yeah, I wanted to be there for that. So I, uh, I didn't manage to go through with that last year, so I auditioned again this year, and uh, it's worked out really well. I've, I've Got obviously got this far. It's, it's still unbelievable. Um, but yeah, I've always just loved the show, so I thought I might as well uh, give it a go. Yeah, exactly. Um, so you, as you say, you're in the household cavalry. Was that always what you wanted to do, or was being a magician always something on the side, and was it always a dream? Well, you know what? In all honesty, I'm living the dream massively at the moment because um, I always wanted to join the army. I always wanted to be a musician, and I always wanted to perform magic on on a big stage. So at the minute, I'm doing all three of those things. So I'm a musician in the house of Cavalry, yeah. and I'm performing live on TV uh, all this week, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really living the dream in the moment. Yeah, incredible. Um, so talk to us about what you've done in terms of um, your act so far. In your audition, you turned a can of orange into hot tea. And the yeah. sem in the semi, you've got a page of a man who holds a book in a glass bottle. So where do you get all these ideas from? Uh, I mean, there's so many ideas in uh, in magic and everything stems from another and it, everything is inspired by things that are hundreds of years old and it's all about trying to keep things fresh and uh, change things up, trying to make everything as interesting as possible with, but with with everyday objects that, that are just there for people to see and to check. That's why I wanted to be up close at the table so that everyone could see uh, and the judges could check everything was really happening. They could check the book, they can. Just, just that they knew it was um, what they were seeing and yeah. people at home knew what they were seeing was really happening and it was genuine and everyone it was right under their noses which yeah. was great uh, which is what I wanted to do close up um, and personal yeah, no, it was, it was incredible. I, I could not believe Thank it when I saw it. Um, I think one of the boys has got a, a question in the studio. David? Yeah, hi Richard, how are you doing? Hi David, you right? Yeah, um, obviously a lot of magic is down to sleight of hand. Yeah. Now when it comes to pouring hot tea out of a sealed soft drink can. How is that even possible? <laughs> yeah, there's, uh, I mean, there's so many elements to what, what, all the things that I chose to do in, in the show. Um, I wanted to really up, up the level of magic that's been seen. Obviously, it's such a high-profile show, and to get the votes and to get people interested and, and continuously interested in magic, you have to evolve and adapt things to keep it brand new I, I mean uh, I was really pleased to do something like that be purely because it, it, it shows that there's so much more to magic than than just like a hand and smoke and mirrors there's so many uh, it's, I mean a lot of the stuff I do is psychological based so um, all about how you can influence people and manipulate people and, uh, and read body language uh, that's always fascinating me so I'm incorporating all of those elements in in my acts uh, and yeah, I'm just I'm pleased with the re reception so far. I think it seems like uh, a lot of people have enjoyed it so far. So I'm really really pleased with the kind of magic that I've been doing. 
Here's what. Uh, it's been amazing. <laughs> Honestly, I think uh, I think Fred's got a question for you now. Yeah, just a, just a quick one, Richard. How are you anyway? Hi, mate. Yeah, good. Thanks. All right, good. Um, um, my question is obviously besides yourself, um, you any acts that you really like and enjoy enjoy well, watching? I tell you what, it's such a tough competition this year. Everyone is so good, um, and I mean, I've I've been very lucky that obviously during rehearsals and things and during the uh, the shows, I've got to meet pretty much most of the acts. And they are all just genuinely lovely people. So I wish them all all the best. I mean, they're all fantastic. I think absolutely anyone in the competition can win uh, because they're all at the top of the game in all the different fields that they're in. So, I mean, a lot of it depends on um, on what, what kind of things the, uh, the people at home want to see, I suppose. But they're all at the top of their game. So I, I wouldn't really want to say who I think has got the best chance because I think they've all got a great chance to be honest yeah those stormtroopers don't say much do they <laughs> <laughs> obviously in, in my role in the army I, I get to see the royal family events quite often but I've never actually met any of them in person um, okay so that'd be quite never, cool then that'd yeah be really cool. I mean they've never seen me perform magic for sure so, I mean, <laughs> to, to perform as a solo artist and then to actually know who I am and uh, that would be an incredible thing for me um uh, and not only that, I'd love to, obviously, the Royal Variety, if I make it that far, one of the Royal Family will actually come and say hello after the show. That's what they usually do. So it'd be great to ask uh, if they uh, are into magic or not. Cause, <laughs> I, I mean, at the minute, I'm hoping they're, they're supporting me and they're, they're enjoying the show, but obviously, yeah, I've got no idea. So, um, yeah, it'd be great to chat to them and uh, and ask if they are, are interested. I'd be a bit of an anti-climax and a bit of a downer if they say they're not really into magic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they won't. I'm sure they won't. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, so finally, Richard, uh, Saturday's final is two days away now. What can you tell us in terms of what you'll be doing? I don't want to uh, prod you too yeah, much. So, <laughs> yeah, so I'm busy rehearsals all day for the next few days, and uh, trying to put on something really special. Um, I'm going to be involved in a lot more of my personal story of why I got into magic, and in particularly um, about the man who inspires me the most in magic, and really. Um, it had a lot to do with why I started in the first place. Uh, a really inspiring man. And, yeah, it's going to be a lot more personal to me. That's, I don't want to ruin the surprise, but yeah. I've got a very special surprise within the act that, uh, yeah, I'm hoping the uh, everyone at home is going to enjoy. Yeah, well, I think we're all really looking forward to seeing that on Saturday night. It's going to be incredible. Um, yes, yeah. So, finally, that's it, really. Good luck to you. Uh, we'll be backing you, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be voting right, for you. Um, and if you win, would you fancy come down to see us at some point? I'm sure I'll be able to at some point. Yeah, Great. Yeah, cool, and we'll, we'll arrange something. That's cool. No worries. Also, that, I'll Good definitely. Stuff. Well, thank you very much, Richard. As thank again, you very much for your time. All the best yeah. on Saturday night. Indeed. Thank you. Indeed, all the best. Thank and uh, and, and Richard, we've got a little song to, 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 to play play you out, really, to be honest. We wish you all the best of luck with whatever you do, because also it's, you're going to be very busy for the next couple of days. You must be absolutely shattered. But here's a little song yeah. for you. So we thought we'd throw this one in. It's Little Mix with Black Magic. Have a great day, Richard, and best Thank of luck for the final. Much, guys. Cheers, Richard. Take Cheers, care. Richard. All the best of luck.